teams looking stark for a win. And we are set to go. The Canucks start with possession as we are now underway. Good heads up defensive play as he extends the stick. The Rangers pick up steam and are on the attack. Takes a shot. Oh, and it comes up with a big stop there. Takes that pass back to the point. Oh, excellent play and goal there. Launches it from the point. Takes a shot. Oh, what a close save there. It always amazes me that goaltenders often make this save look easy with all of that traffic in front and screen. I mean, it is important to battle and find the sight lines. And this goaltender, Hoop, does a great job of making it happen. Moves it to Kako. And the traffic neutralizes that threat. There's the whistle. We'll get a face-off after the goalie covers up. But still in the early stages of this period. Still scoreless in this one. Sabinijan's won the face-off here in the offensive zone. Oh, and a misfire as that goes right out of the zone. Gets the puck over to Sabinijad. Great reach with the poke check. Vancouver's got a hold of it against the wall. On the attack along the boards. Shot, and he comes up with it. Center and feed, and it's blocked. Moves it quickly over to Kako. Sends it across. Great defensive effort with the stick. Oh, a quick little pickpocket on the play. Can't hang on after that hit. At center ice now, he grabs the puck. Passes it over to Kuzmenko. And now he angles it across to Pedersen. Moves into the slot. Shuts it down with the paddle, what a stop. Oh, he's one of the best in the game in terms of that butterfly position. And once he drops, he's so agile to be able to slide across the net. Hedl's taking it from his own end. From the right wing, he moves it to the middle. The Canucks have a hold of it in the defensive zone. Great pressure with the stick. Quick pass to Hedl. Handles the pass. Here's a great use of the stick right there to poke it away. Slick feed. Fires it on net. Stopped by the goaltender. Moves the puck into the attacking area. What a steal in his own end. Sends the pass over. He scores! He's in tight to the net, James, and he knows that he's not going to have much time or space to get it off, so he elects to use the snapshot and beats the goaltender. Vancouver's done a nice job staying with their game, and it finally pays off your Cheryl with a goal. Yeah, when you trust the process and you stay to task, this is exactly what happens. You have good habits, you find a way to get it done, and you execute. Now you got to build on it. You got to find a way to get another one and continue on with consistency. Miller's going to play it against the half wall. New York's got it across the line. Quick feed to Lindgren. Centering pass in front, and that shot's blocked. Good use of the body on the play. And it's a quick pass to Myers. We got a whistle offside to call. Miller's the playmaker and a good one at that, guys. He sees the ice so well, but it's his deceptive passing that can create chances for his squad. We call that his third eye zone ability and it's how he contributes offensively. Great use of the stick at center by Pitlick. Taken by Benino. Along the half wall with the puck. Vancouver's got the puck. Here's a short pass to Giuseppe. Handles the puck. Oh, how did he get a glove on that? What a stop by Shesterkin. That's an incredible save, James. I mean, he's got presence in his crease, and he's also got a great glove hand, and he shows it right there with that save. Here in the back half of this period, the Canucks have taken a 1-0 lead. And he coughs it up with the pass. The Canucks have been stealing pucks all game. And when you intercept passes and you find ways to get your sticks in lanes, you typically find a way to possess the puck. But they've got to open it up here. This game's awfully tight. Play ready to resume as everybody lines in for the faceoff. 
The Canucks win the faceoff. Moves it to Beauvillier. Stopped by the goaltender. He got a little piece of that one. And the puck's booted away. Moves it quickly over to Fox. Shot! Oh, he got a piece of it to keep it out. Tries to get the puck over to Hughes. Vancouver's crossed the line and on the attack. Nice poke check. Moves it around along the half wall. Quick pass to Lafferty. Puts it on there. Incredible reflexes on the glove saved by Shesterkin. In the final moments of this period, Vancouver's up one zip. Beatles won the draw here in their own zone. Oh, what a stop by Shesterkin. Does a great job with some great pushes to get to the top of his crease and make the save from a high danger area. The Canucks wanted to put a lot of pucks on net going into this one, and they have delivered on that, leading late in the first. Suter's won the faceoff, and now let's see what they can do. Just a little too much contact and couldn't hang on to the puck. Quick feed to Suter. Oh, excellent use of the stick as he knocks that one away. Good fight for the puck along the boards. Feeds the puck across to Lafreniere. There's a firm collision. The Canucks take it along the wall. New York's got possession of the puck. Working the puck deep inside their own end. And with that, the first period is in the books. Both teams with a chance on a refresh will get a clean sheet of ice and come back with period number two. We are about ready to get underway here for the second period. Second frame is underway as the puck is dropped. Well, Cheryl, how do you sum this one up through the first 20 minutes? The Canucks are putting on a shooting clinic out there right now. Real entertaining game to watch. The coach will be real happy about being opportunistic and taking shots. Lots of time left in this period. The Canucks lead it 1-0. New York's got the puck after winning the defensive zone faceoff. Here's a short pass to Kreider. New York's got the puck against the half wall. And now it's grabbed by Besser. Receives the pass. Here's a pass in front. Oh, and he fans on it. New York's looking to break out. And now he moves it to Kreider. And he slides it quickly to Fox. Demko's got it in the defensive zone. Feeds it on over to Heronic. The Canucks carry it along the wall. And a nice takeaway in the defensive end by Kako. Moves along the boards with some purpose. Poked away by Di Giuseppe. Levels him with the hit. The Canucks will play it from the defensive zone. Now a quick pass to Mikheyev. Devastating collision against the wall. And now it's over to Hedl. The Canucks scoop it up along the boards. Moves it to Cole. Moves the puck along the half wall. Directs it on over to Hedl. Slides the puck ahead to Lafreniere. Here's a chance. Makes the save again. What a great job of tracking the puck. Not one, but two consecutive saves. Getting closer to the halfway point of this frame. Vancouver's ahead, 1-0. Puck is dropped and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. Steps inside. New York's got the puck. Pushes it across to Hedo. Moves it quickly over to Lafreniere. Slittering feed. Oh, he comes up with a stop. Takes a bump and loses control of the puck. Can't complete the pass as it goes off a stick. Works it across to Hoaglander. Steps inside the attacking zone down the left wing. Yes! And they strike pay dirt once again. Yeah, they do. And their opponents down on their heels are deflated. They got to find a way to continue with the pressure, be relentless, and try and get another one. Even I could have scored off that unbelievable feed, James. He's just able to corral that pass and put it in the back of the net.
The Canucks extend the lead to 2 0 now in period number two. Yeah, and this is about right, James. They are holding the play, they've maintained possession, and they're getting a ton of shots on net. You look up at the scoreboard, you say the right team is winning. through center they go on the attack quick pass for Lafferty simple stop by Shusterkin goaltender covers it up we get a whistle to slow things down more than half the frame has been played here Vancouver's really controlled the pace of play these last few minutes leading by two Trocek's quick stick off the draw wins possession slides the puck to Cooley Collision there. He just got railroaded. Closed space so fast and just taken down. Takes a spill onto the ice and loses the puck. Along the wing up the neutral zone. Vancouver's got a hold of the puck. Here they come inside the neutral zone. The Rangers get a hold of the puck in their own end. Break away! as he executes with some great speed to break away from the pack. And then it's all about the execution. When you're one-on-one -on -one with a goaltender, you bring yourself back to your practice days and you use your move. New York suddenly made this a lot more intriguing here in this second period. I know it's cliche, James, but the game is 60 minutes. It's only the second and they've got themselves within one. A lot of one way to go. Center's jammed up and the winger grabs the puck. Scrum along the boards. Poked away in the defensive end. Quick pass across to Kreider. Through center along the wing. Quick feed down low. Quick feed to Keppo. Oh, they telegraph the pass and he picks it off. Vancouver's got it along the wall. Picked up along the boards by Mikheyev. And he's ridden off the puck. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Heronic. Vancouver's on the attack. Routine glove stop by Shusterkin. Goaltender hangs on for the whistle. Late goings of this period. New York still down a goal here, but they have really picked up the tempo these last few minutes. The Rangers come up with the defensive zone draw. Here's a short pass to Panarin. New York's got the puck against the boards. Stones him in front. Demko's been dialed in right from puck drop, James. I mean, he's made the key save that he's need to make, and it's all about... It's in! He scores! Well, this is just a fabulous shot. When you're in that high slot area, you know that you're going to be closed upon quickly, so you've got to have a quick release. That's the first thing. And the second thing is the accuracy. If it's quick and it's on, you're going to score. Vancouver's delivered an absolute dagger here late in period number two, doubling up their lead. Well, you can hear and feel the energy just elevate after that goal, James. Everyone kind of standing up. The body language speaks for itself. Now it's about igniting another fire and trying to get another one. But your coach is preaching all the time. Take away the eyes of the goaltender. What does that mean? It means you get yourself in front of that net, whether it's a double stack, a double screen, whatever you can do so that the goaltender can't find the puck. And he couldn't as he drops to that butterfly. He tries to make himself as big as possible, but he can't catch up to the puck. Vancouver's been feeling good all night long. And Look at where we're at here. We're still in the late stage of the period here. Yeah, it's been an unbelievable game for them so far. I mean, they've just been so dominant offensively. Their opponent really doesn't know what to do. They're trying to slow the game down, but they can't because they're just on fire in terms of pace and dictating it. All right, we've played now 40 minutes in this one, and still a critical 20 minutes still needs to be played. 
Go stretch your legs, grab that final snack, because the third period is just around the corner. The moment of truth has arrived for both these teams. Third period action set to go. It's been a total mismatch here as we get underway for the third. Let's see if anything changes. Scores! And look at this! Suddenly, they're right back into it! I really like their response here, James. They're able to capitalize on the opportunity to get them within two in this two-goal deficit. It almost feels like there's a little hope now in the game, and if they can get one more, you'll recognize that the momentum will completely shift. He's gonna get an apple on this play here, James, but I think he created it from start to finish. I mean, to be able to drive the lane, have the presence of mind of where that player, the coverage is on you, and shield it appropriately to be able to get that pass across, unbelievable play. Miller's gained possession inside the neutral zone. Di Giuseppe's got it along the wing. Sabinajan's got the puck in his own zone. Quick feed down low. Moves it to Kreider. Tries to the sweet spot. Denies him. Demko is able to square up to the shooter right here. He's in a dangerous position in the slot area. What a great save, James. And he loses control here. Best of stick handling in his own zone. Moves it quickly over to Miller. Quick shot on target. New York's got a hold of the puck now. Quick pass to Sabinajad. New York's across the blue line. Making shot, and that was stopped. Moves the puck. Sends a pass over. Denied that one. Puck grab by Miller. And the puck skips out of the zone. They'll be forced to tag up. Puck picked up by Capo. Went for the dirty dangle and it goes sideways. Capo is such a great player, James. He's got great hands and in tight skill, but just that extra move there, it's a tricky one, and he gets lost in it. And now he moves it quickly to Hedl. The Rangers looking against the half wall. Here's a chance in front, and he denies that great opportunity there. Huge play in his own end to come up with the puck. McKayev's got it in the offensive zone. Scrum ensues along the boards. Grabbed along the board by McKayev. Stones him on the play! Still lots of time left here in this frame. Vancouver's been the better club as they hold a 4-2 lead at this point. And off the draw, they win possession. Quick pass to Trocek. New York's got it in their own zone. Through center. Quick feed to Cooley. Shot! My goodness, what a save by Demko. New York's got the puck along the wall. Looks to make a play over to Friedman. Good hit to knock the puck loose. And now he tries to get it across to Cooley. And uses the length of his stick to knock that puck away. The Rangers gain possession. This one, fantastic save! Demko's been outstanding tonight. I mean, he has been under siege, shot after shot. A real workhorse that's been better and better as the game's gone on. Taken along the wall by Trocek. And the puck departs the zone. And he takes the dish. A little dipsy doodle and he loses possession of the puck. He is so dangerous when the puck is on his stick in the offensive zone, but he tries one too many moves and he loses the puck. Sends one across. Oh, just a great heads up play by Miller. All alone. Oh, oh save here in this third period. Uh, it's a close game and you know it's the third period and the next goal is pivotal and you want that one back, certainly if you're the shooter. All right, well, we got a breather in action. Let's check in with our own Carlin Bay at ringside. Demko's managed to give up less goals in this one, guys, and has even given his team a chance to bring it home. He's got my vote in this matchup. Pokes the puck away. Tenacious battle for the puck along the wall. Swap up. The Rangers gain possession along the wall. Here's a short pass to Fox. Moves it to Lindgren. Puts it on net, and that one's denied. 
Through the neutral zone, moving the puck along the side. Tries to feed it over to Fox. Gaining momentum along the boards. And they're going to go off for a line change after sending the puck in. Moves it to Hughes. Across the line and on the attack. Picked up along the wall by Mikheyev. Frames the iron. Vancouver's continuing to push the pace of play in this game. They've been aggressive in the offensive zone. They do have the lead, but they wanted the extra cushion there, but unfortunately went off the post and out. Oh, what a stop by Demko. The goaltender is very aware of where that puck is in that low slot area and defends his crease by getting out, being aggressive, and taking away any of the net. New York's put plenty of pucks on net here tonight, but they still trail late in the third. Comes in off the wing as both centers were tied up on the draw. Vancouver's got the puck in the defensive end. Chance at an empty netter here. Misses. And that brings an end to this one here this evening. Vancouver's quick start, the difference in this one, Cheryl. Yeah, but the last 40 minutes, boring. And sometimes that can lull you to sleep as you find a way to protect the lead. But man, they're lucky that they didn't get bitten, that they didn't really generate any offense after the first. Well, we certainly had a great time tonight. Everybody in the broadcast crew as well. And from all of us here at EA Sports, I'm James Sabalski wishing you a safe and healthy night. And we'll see you down the road again soon.